Hello everyone, let's look at this alternating series here. Um, besides the alternating factor, we have 1 over n here, that's a harmonic series. So putting this together, we have an uh, alternating harmonic series. And to test whether this series is convergent or divergent, uh, because it's alternating, so we cannot really use the comparison test. And so what happened is that we are going to use what we call an alternating series test. And so sometimes I call it AST. And so what we are going to do is that we need to just make sure that we'll satisfy two requirements. And the requirements will be this. So let me just recall it and write it down first. So for the alternating series test, for the alternating series, and then of course the series must be alternating in general, right? So we have negative one to the n minus one power, and then times some uh, b sub n. And what happened is that this series must satisfy, satisfies, right? So we have two conditions. One of them is that the for this b sub n without the alternating factor, that b sub n plus one is less than or equal to b sub n or all n. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, as you can see here, the subscript tells you that the, the which turn that you are looking at, right? So b sub n and then b sub n plus one, they are actually two consecutive turns, right? B sub n plus one is actually the turn that's after the b sub n. And so that's really just saying that the previous turn is greater than the next turn. It's really just saying that um, the b sub n is decreasing. Okay, so that's one requirement. The other one is that when you take the limit of this b sub n, it's going to be approaching zero. Okay, and if both requirements are satisfied, then we say that then we say that uh, the series converges. Okay, so that's this alternating series test. So let me just box this right now. I probably need to move it a little bit so that it looks better. Okay. So now we are going to follow this test for doing this problem. First, we need to identify our b's n, right? The bn is going to be 1 over n in this case. So that would be quite easy to identify, right? So, so b sub n is going to be 1 over n. Okay, so now let's check. Let's check the first requirement. For the first requirement, For the first requirement, um, we consider the next turn, which is uh, b sub n plus 1, which is going to be 1 over, what is that? That's n plus 1, right? Because if the n turn is 1 over n, then the n plus 1 turn is 1 over n plus 1. Okay, so now which one is larger? Um, for n being a positive integer, uh, so if you have a larger denominator, then the fraction will become smaller. So we can conclude that we can conclude that the uh, b sub n plus one is equal to one over what is that? That's n plus one, and that's actually what that's actually less than or equal to, and actually is just just strictly less than right? Um, the one over n which is just the bn, right? Okay, so now we just show that the um, the bn turns are decreasing. Okay, so that's the first requirement. Now, what about the second requirement? For the second requirement, we are going to have what? We're going to take the limit. And so the limit of... 1 over n as n approaches infinity, so that becomes quite obvious what the answer is. That's actually just equal to 0. So both requirements are satisfied, and then we can now use the alternating series test to draw the conclusion. The series converges. So by the AST, the alternating series
converges. Okay. Yeah, so that's it for this problem. And thank you for watching. I was